everybody, today I am here. You're laughing at me already, we haven't even started. I'm not laughing. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined with my mum and dad. Hello. Hi. Sort of reluctantly, not gonna lie. Very. Um, because I have somehow managed to rope them into today. Family food roulette with juicy questions. I don't know what I've called this video, but something along those lines. Essentially, we're gonna be asking questions that we don't wanna answer, questions that we've avoided, or eating the horrible selection of food in front of us as a forfeit. So, Dad, do you want to read out yeah. what's on your left? On my on my right. Yeah. <laughs> we've got dynamite chili marmite, a noffy caramel spread. That's actually quite nice. That is Japanese soy milk. Vita soy. And in front of me, I have a lemon, banana saurine, because Possibly the worst thing on the whole table. Seaweed. I think actually it probably doesn't taste of much, but it looks yeah. disgusting. One radish. And then on mum's left there is pineapple cottage cheese. I don't know what's wrong with that. Mum likes this. Would you eat that? No. Pineapple oh. First cottage. First I don't like, I don't like pineapple and cottage cheeses and all. And then like. this is just a jar of vomit. No, no idea what that, that is. That is amazing. It's sandwich it's bread. It's just a sauce. So essentially there's a lot of food that we don't really want to eat, there's a couple that aren't too bad. The end of the game is obviously to answer the questions. So how I've kind of done it is that I have thought of five questions for my mum, five questions for my dad, my dad has thought of five questions for me, five questions for my mum and vice versa. Can I ask a question? Yeah. If you've decided not to answer and you get your food and then you really can't do the food, can you then go back and answer? No, oh, if you okay. decide not to answer, Mum, you have to do the forfeit. We have the food selection in this oh, little... Oh, do we not get to choose? No, you don't get to pick. Them. Let's just ask some questions, I don't know. First question for Molly. Yeah. Is what is the least amount of money someone would have to pay you to split up with Tom? Right, it's straight in with the hard. Just... The least amount of money? That's horrible, I don't know. I feel like you can't put a price on that. Well, I don't want to name a price, because I, I mean- forfeit. I think I'm just gonna answer all the questions. But then also I feel like- You're not answering it, are you? No, shall I just do some Crack on, just do this one, just do one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seaweed, Yay. why is that? Well, this is only because I can't name a number, because there isn't a number. <laughs> What do you do with that under normal circumstances? Do you cook it? Do you just eat it like this, like a crisp? What oh no, it smells like a fish. It smells like a fish. Can we get some water, please? <laughs> oh. oh, hang on. No. Oh, Wait, was it in a packet? Like, no. Hang on. That just smells. <laughs> died a long while ago. No, but wait, it smells like a Chinese restaurant. It's wasabi flavoured. Well, none that I've ever been in. Wasabi flavoured seaweed? Yeah. We've got the tropical juice on hand to mask the flavour of this disgustingness. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is like Chinese restaurant. No, it's, it's not. not. It isn't. I love a Chinese. I don't it think probably doesn't do taste it. of anything. It just looks like plastic. No, it really is horrible. Best failure. Why is this off to such a terrible start? No, it's so spicy. It's wasabi meant to be spicy. Yes. Yeah, because you get the wasabi ice cream, don't you? Wasabi. That's a lean cars. Right, okay. How about that pistachio ice cream? No, no, wasabi. Oh, same old, same old. What's up with you? I swear I've seen it. No, they said pistachio ice cream looks like wasabi. Okay, my question for mom. How many boyfriends did you have before you were with dad? Ding, 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 ding. It depends what you count. People that you would consider yourself to be in a relationship with. What's your answer? Five, I think. Five. So dad was your sixth or dad was your fifth? Six. Dad was your sixth. There's a, a list of men out Wait, there somewhere what? that are like, no, it was more than five. <laughs> I was on that list. I'm pretty sure they won't be watching. I think we're good. Hey, you never know. <laughs> well, if you are, hi. In prison or dead. <gasps> <gasps> Is any of them dead? I know. What? Well, I, I could all be. No. Some of them might be. <laughs> <laughs> also, I want to apologise now for my dad looking so small. He just can't sit on the floor. I am small. You're not small, you just cut it on the floor. Isn't he sat? Oh, why is that like that? What annoys you the most about me? And I don't want a long list. Yeah. You tie this stuff away without telling me where you've put it. Otherwise, you're just hiding it. Ask him on that. You also take away half drunk cups of tea before I finish drinking them. <laughs> drinking them? Drinking them. You do do that. Things like that. You put yeah. your drink down for three seconds, it's gone. It's gone. Would you rather spend the rest of your life in England, but with access to all social media platforms, or live anywhere you liked in the world, 
but with no social media access. Ah. That's so hard, because I feel like realistically I'm probably going to live in England in the future anyway. So we're only talking about a few years out of my life. And I think I would probably pick no social media access, but be able to live anywhere. What would you do? Waitress on a beach? Yeah, but I live off that. No, but no, not to live off, but I just feel like if you were going for happiness, wouldn't it just be nice to like run away and live on like a private island yeah. and just maybe like have a little bar or With something? With no social media? Yeah. yeah. You'd be happy then? Yeah, I think I'd probably be happier. Not that I don't love my job. All I can smell is that. Can you smell that? No, That's no, so ding. No. Who did you miss more when they moved out to go to uni? Me, when I left, or Harry, when he left? Just a few equally. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It's kind of different, because Harry's gone, whereas you came back every week. <sighs> Harry's been back, and it's only been three weeks. Daddy, you were okay. <laughs> What are you doing? Just sit I'm like sat. a normal person. No, I'm sat up right now. Can you sit cross-legged? No. No. <laughs> I'm 50, I might break my legs. <laughs> so your answer is? No, I don't think that's fair. Uh, you well, if you're not answering it then, you Okay, then Harry. Whoa. You just really... <laughs> <laughs> well, you knew I was going to say that. She just likes Harry more. No, that's just he needs me more. So I felt worried that he this wasn't is, this cut. Is, this proved me wrong. This is a, a, a mum to boy thing. I left, I hated uni, I was so homesick. Mum was like, eh. That is not true. <laughs> Harry's come to uni, Harry loves uni. Every day mum's like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you is eating? Are you ill? <laughs> okay, fine. So your answer's Harry. Well, at least you're honest. Who do you love more? Me or the dog? Answer honestly. I don't want to know. Well, really, you're not going to say, say the dog Why don't you just say the dog? We all know you love the dog the most. I can't believe you don't just answer. Well, you have just answered. answered it. Deb just wants to eat a horrible food. That's fine. No, I haven't. I haven't given an answer at all. The I dog. can't choose chili marmite. You, you like, like that. that. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh no, hang on. Wait. I thought I was going on some toast. No, 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 no. Just a spoonful. <laughs> it's not a delicacy. A wait, spoonful. A spoonful. Of chili <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> oh wait, that's the old jar. It's been there since January. <laughs> it's got the old top of the top. Mm, okay. Oh, don't make a mess on the table. Bon appetit. Go on, go on. All that just because you didn't want to admit you love the dog more than your wife. Uh, well, just kick. answer all the questions and you don't have to do this. If you could say one thing to someone without any consequences, who would it be? Oh. What would you say? Oh. Mum's got a list. Oh, I've got a list. What, like anything to anybody? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't pick somebody I don't like, not wasting that pass on that. I'd want to talk to Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. Good answer. I, that took it in a different direction. I, I won't waste that on somebody I all don't right. like. Who would it be then? Taylor Swift and what would you say? I just want to have a chat with her. But how many times does she hear, I love your music? Follow me on YouTube. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. She don't follow anyone on Instagram. I don't know. I, I think that's a daft question because you were expecting me to say something. I was expecting like a, a harsh comment that you could say to somebody. Not wasting my time and energy on the negative Nancys of the world. I would pick Taylor Swift. Your nice question answer. For I haven't asked anything yet. Yeah, you have. You've asked me too. Bye. Mum, are you... <laughs> This is how forgetful <laughs> mum is. I haven't said anything yet, mum. You asked too much. Oh, I've just remembered no. another five. Did you marry dad for his money? No. Or his looks. <laughs> or his looks. Or his looks. Well, it'd have to be looks if it wasn't money. It definitely wasn't his money. So originally you married him because he was good looking. Yeah. But he still is. Uh huh. And um, now you're married to him because of his money. And now he's still here. <laughs> because he... Have you ever lied about where you were going? Yes. <laughs> I have. Let's get Harry from the station and I said I was off to Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so to be fair. <laughs> Shall I insert the clip of Harry surprising mum and coming home for the yeah. weekend? Yeah, all I did was squeal. Friday, Harry came home from uni without telling anybody, but I knew that he was coming. So I'll insert that footage Top here. Secret. <laughs> Open your phone contacts list and share as many names as you can, only by their nickname. What? Right, so your contacts list... I don't have anybody else nicknames. I don't. No, I'm not saying you have them as nicknames, but you know nicknames for them. What a weird... What a strange... I don't thing. think Wait, I could do All right. Yeah, did you understand I, the memo I, I, here? I can understand it. If you don't want to do it, have some food. I don't understand! Squiffy, Biffy. <laughs> I don't call anybody nicknames. No, I don't either. Like Tom got... instead of Thomas. Bambino Becky's in my phone book, is that a nickname? Your nickname's for them, but maybe not a public nickname. No, that's what she's Again, saying. I still just don't have any. No, I've no, got no, you no. in my phone as dad instead of Carl. Is that a, <laughs> that is that a question? Do you want to get a different one? Because I did have a backup question. Yes, please, because that was terrible. Have you ever sent a text meant 
for Tom to someone else and what did it say? It meant for Tom to somebody else. I've done that to other people. This was a while ago in school. It, you know, if you're in a conversation with somebody or you're having an argument with somebody and you take a screenshot of the argument to send to somebody else. This is a, such a high school thing to do. I wouldn't do this anymore because I don't have arguments with anybody. But you know, if you're just like bickering amongst friends and you take a screenshot of the chat to send it to somebody else to be like, oh my God, can't believe they've said that. But then you send the screenshot back to them and it's like, oh no, now they know that, that you're talking about about them. Haven't done that since I was in like year 10, but that did I, used to I happen. I recall you saying that. Have you ever kissed a girl? Yes. Do you want to elaborate on yes or no? <laughs> so just yes. <laughs> I just shot one of my questions out of there, but with the taste of a cherry chap stick. Yeah. And I liked it. <laughs> no, stop it. Okay, Dad. Would you rather have married any of your previous girlfriends rather than me? Too slow. Well, would you not have asked them to marry you if you wanted to do that? The answer has to be no. I wouldn't have Molly and Harry, would I? No. I don't think that's the right answer no. still, but okay, cool. Hey, Mum, I have one last one for you, but it's sort of for Dad as well, to be honest. Do you remember where I was conceived? Should I know the answer? I do. You don't know where I was conceived? Your firstborn daughter? I don't really know how people can No, you can't that. really tell, can you? Because if you're trying for children, basically it could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the answer to that. I specifically think though, because we went to like the Derbyshire, uh, wishing well, and we made a wish. Uh, so, yeah, you made a weekend. wish there. Yeah, no, it, it, was, it was then because... Wait, the, you wished on a wishing well for a baby and then yeah. you got me? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice story. Why did I know that? Thank you. We've been a little book. <laughs> oh, that's a nice story. <laughs> you don't need to tell any of the rest of it. <laughs> So if I was conceived in Derbyshire, that means I'm not from Yorkshire. Born in Yorkshire, it's where you're born. Yeah, but I'm, I'm Derbyshire. <laughs> it was actually on the Nottingham Derbyshire border. And it so, might not uh... have even been anywhere. Right, now we're going to rotate and go the other way because we finished our five questions each. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Why are you looking at me as a few <laughs> of, of recent times that I can think of in the last like couple of months, hiding a lobster under a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the Grease vlogs. Tom and I had the meal from hell and we couldn't handle it, we didn't know what to do and I ended up pulling apart a lobster and hiding it under a napkin and sending it back to the kitchen at a restaurant. Because seafood is the devil's food. <laughs> it was just it was just not a good night. I love the way you said in the most recent months as if it's quite frequent. Oh, I embarrass myself all the time. I am a walking mess. Did you ever fancy a teacher when you were in school? No, not in school. I did when I went to do my HNC at university. Do you know what I thought I was going to say that I did when I went to parents' evening? Oh, no, no. Back. Rewind. Sorry, can I put this in? No. I did actually. Oh, was, really? Me and Harry knew all yeah. about this. One of Harry's Everybody. teachers. Good. Okay. No, I have. So. Yes, but not while I was at school. What do I do for a job? I have no idea. If you get it wrong, you have to eat. Yeah, you have to eat. You have to tell me correctly. But that's not fair. <laughs> no, I do. I think know. it's time to eat something. Time to eat something. I do know. Take one. You don't know, do you? Otherwise, you just said it. Soy and milk. Oh, that's not even oh, that bad. That's gross. I don't think this would be too bad for me. How much does she have to drink? The whole carton? No. <laughs> A mouthful. It tastes nothing. It's probably warm. I don't think I'll put that in the no, fridge. Put it in the fridge. It kind of just tastes of the carton. Do you think you were closer to Tom's family or he's closer to our family? I think Tom's closer to our family, definitely, than I am to his. Is that mean to say? I don't think that's mean, is it? Tom probably spends more time here with us as a family. Have you ever been the one to break up with somebody in the past before you were with mum or have you always been broken up with? I have broken up with somebody but it was only one. It was usually always the other way around. Oh, fair enough. Well answered. What part of your body do you dislike the most and why? Oh, Jeez, how long have you got? Oh, that's sad mum. Probably the most, the top of the list, probably my teeth. Your teeth? The top wow. of your list? Really? I don't think you need to worry about your teeth at all. Mm, Literally at all. What do you regret most in life up to now? I actually don't really have that many regrets. I regret not staying in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> because if I had stayed, I could have still been there. Oh, but then... been stuck. But I would have been stuck there. And I know that Jeez. so many people are desperately trying to get home. And it's yeah. selfish of me to die. I wish I got stuck there. And look at that little face. I there. know. Oh, I regret that we didn't get a dog before I moved to uni. And that it took you 18 years. And then you got a dog the, the weekend I moved out. I think that's probably my But at least one. we have her. Yes. Yeah, so Did you ever consider proposing to anybody that wasn't mum? No. Really? That no. was a good answer. That no. was a solid answer. No, because I was too young really. <laughs> How old yeah. were you when you proposed to mum? 23. Ah! That's 
Yeah. 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 Y